A Florida city bans guns? Yeah, let's go ahead and talk about it. What's up, Wolverines? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am outside. I have a hurt back. Everyone else is hiking, but I am just sitting here filming a video for you guys because this is important. The city of Okeechobee has banned firearms or did ban firearms during the hurricane. Not only did they ban firearms, but they banned the selling of firearms, the display of firearms in stores, the selling of ammunition, the display of ammunition, and the carrying of firearms. They are using the hurricane as an excuse to go ahead and ban the carrying of firearms. I'm not talking about open carry because that's already verboten in Florida unless you are hunting or fishing. I am talking about concealed carry. They are stating since the hurricane caused a state of emergency in Florida, they are legally allowed to do that. But there is a lot of information that says they are not. Florida has preemption. Preemption means that local laws cannot override the state law. And the state law here is very clear on firearms. In fact, this is already tested out. During COVID, they tried to ban firearms in certain jurisdictions in Florida and shut down gun stores in Florida. And they were smacked down. They stated that you cannot do that because that violates the Florida law. And since Florida has preemption, local laws cannot override the state law but between the 24-hour period when the hurricane made landfall into where it cleared out okeechobee decided that they were going to ban firearms anyway they were going to ban firearms the sell of firearms the sale of ammunition the showing of ammunitions in stores the showing of firearms in stores and i'm not just talking about in stores if you were going to sell a firearm to a buddy during this 24 hour period, you were legally not allowed to in Okeechobee, even though the state law says that you are. So I don't think that they could have enforced this whatsoever because it's definitely a violation of the preemption in Florida, the preemption law in Florida. So I think that they would have got smacked down in court. But we do need to make sure everyone is aware that people tried to do this. And the times of Katrina, the Hurricane Katrina, they tried the same exact thing. And there's a bunch of controversy about that. And yet this chief of police decided that he was going to do the same thing with the backing of the city. We need to sue this guy, even though it is moot at this point because it's already gone. They need to do something to send him a warning. I am pretty sure other gun rights organizations out there are going to be sending letters. And I'm pretty sure GOA will probably be sending a letter or getting a phone call from Luis or Luis, whatever you want to say, Valdez of GOA. He is the GOA state director and he is the guy that actually sent me this information to get this out there. You also can make your voices heard by calling, emailing, or doing whatever it takes to get the eyes of the chief of police on this to say, hey, you screwed up and we're not going to let this go. We're not going to let you do anything unconstitutional. We're not going to let you violate our rights. The right to bear arms is not a constitutional right. The right to bear arms is a right protected by the Constitution against an overbearing government. So basically the right to bear arms is from God, the creator, whatever you want to believe. And the constitution puts limits on the government. Now the 14th amendment took the limits placed on the federal government and placed them on the state governments. So if it gets sued, I'm not sure if that will work out because the whole thing of it being moot since the order has been lifted at this point, but there has to be some type of repercussions, some type of pushback against this unconstitutional mandate that this chief of police decided to do. I don't care if it's a hurricane. I don't care if it's a 
tornado, you cannot disarm the citizens just by using the excuse of a state of emergency. Look in New Mexico, they tried to do the same exact thing. They got smacked down. It's like a train of stuff. You all know about that. During COVID, a lot of places got sued because they tried to use the state of emergency and it all failed. This is open and shut. This is case law. And with that, they need to be smacked down. All right, guys, got to get back to sitting here waiting for everyone to get back. But I wanted to film a little video to let you know what is going on because this is absolutely ridiculous. And I think it needs to be known what is going on. All right, guys, that's it. So stay ever vigilant and stay ever free. If you like what I do here, I highly, highly encourage you to sub to the channel, turn on all notifications. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and share this video far and wide because anytime that there is unconstitutional or tyrannical orders or laws going on, we need to let the public know because a lot of people state that there is no such thing as tyranny in the United States and this order is a tyrannical order. So we can use this to show them that yes, it does exist and we need to fight back. All right, I'm gonna go rest my back a little bit because I hurt. But until next time guys, see you later.